Hello everyone, welcome back to Animal Tales. We are here at the giant panda habitat about to read Beckett and the Pandemonium by Cynthia Platt with our friend behind us. So here we go. Little Beckett was a panda feeling rather blue. Empty tummy rumbling, he needed some bamboo. He really needed crunchy, munchy, sweet bamboo to chew. Oh, sorry, we're leaning back. So up the hill with a big bear stomp, Beckett searched for snacks to chomp. Soon two pandas saw little Beckett looking for snacks to chew. They watched as Beckett strolled along singing a happy bamboo song. Those other pandas really liked his song about bamboo. And then without a warning, they were feeling hungry too for hard and ripe, fun to swipe, sweet bamboo to chew. So down the hill, they promptly rolled to follow Beckett as he strolled. Little Beckett with two pandas walked where the lilies grew and on those panda flower beds woke three panda sleepyheads. Those pandas had been dreaming sweet dreams about bamboo. And it comes as no surprise, they were feeling hungry too for tasty green, long and lean, sweet bamboo to chew. So from the flowers, panda slipped off searching for bamboo they skipped. Little Beckett with five pandas marched through forest too. He didn't see four pandas there in a game of leap the bear, but all that leaping gets a panda thinking of bamboo. They were quickly, they very quickly realized they were feeling hungry too. For tall and wobbly, fun and gobbly, sweet bamboo to chew. And with their jumping game now done, they joined the others at a run. Little Beckett walked through brambles with a huge panda crew. Four pandas were hiding and peeking. Another so slyly was seeking, but hide and seek got those five pandas yearning for bamboo. When out of hiding, they all came, their cravings grew and grew for hard, delicious, so nutritious, sweet bamboo to chew. So picking brambles from their fur, they followed Beckett in a blur. Little Beckett was a panda who thought he was alone. He didn't know that right behind him, panda crowds had grown. So when he climbed a ginkgo tree to look for sweet bamboo, a hungry horde of giant pandas climbed right up there too. The tree began to shimmy, the tree rocked to and fro, and all those hungry panda bears bounced out high and low. It was pandemonium. The bears rolled here, the bears rolled there. They tumbled quickly by. Little Beckett bumped and thumped and heaved a panda sigh. He worried that he just might never find sweet bamboo. And yet, as Beckett bounced and flew, he thought that he could smell bamboo. Little Beckett was a panda, no longer feeling blue. Empty tummy rumbling, he landed in bamboo. Some crunch and munch, time for lunch, green bamboo to chew. So all alone, he took a seat to have some sweet bamboo to eat. And he shared it with all his friends, as we have some sweet bamboo to eat too. Thanks for joining us, see you next time.